we have gone a little bit further now with a little bit of um, darks, some working in of the background, some of the negative spaces in the background, and I am using a mixture of um, transparent burnt umber as well as um, a little bit of the alizarin crimson and a lovely shade um, by Liquitex called um, quinacridone blue violet. Not sure of the pronunciation, but that's kind of keeping all the darker colors nice and rich and warm and um, just working in some of the negative spaces. And I've adjusted the, sh the position of the um, back uh, pomegranate, this, this one here, so as to emphasize the top part a little bit more. I didn't exactly like, as I stood back, I didn't like the positioning of it before uh, once I took a look. So what we're going to do is kind of emphasize the a little bit more of the form by repositioning that back um, pomegranate. And we want to make sure and lose this back edge here. That's going to eventually blend in to the background because it's really in shadow back in that area. And I think what the plan is going to be, this is kind of a black or tan basket that these are sitting in. So I think what I'll do is work in the darks and then just suggest the light coming through the back just a little bit. We'll see. We'll see what look, how it looks and make adjustments. But again, this part is really suggested because our focal point should have the main focus. So we don't want to spend too much time um, worrying about the details of our basket. Just just to give enough information to let the reader know that's, or the viewer know that's what it is. And you remember at your focal point, that's where your strongest contrasts are. So. I'm going to keep that. 